Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. Good morning to you, brothers and sisters out there. It is my prayers that the grace of God will continue to abide with you, not only today, but throughout your lifetime, in Jesus' name. You are welcome to today's devotion in the Daily Fountain, which is the Daily Devotional Guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. You are viewing live from Anglican Cable Network TV. Let us pray. God Almighty, we say thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your sustenance. Thank you for everything. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We say thus far, you have helped us, Lord. Thus far, you have sustained us, Lord. Thus far, you have bear us true. We say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, we again confess our sins before you and we ask that you forgive us our sins in the name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered again as your children to learn from you to receive strength from you, to renew our strength. Righteous one, breathe upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture says, your word gives life. We therefore pray that the entrance of your word, O Lord, this morning, we give light, we give life, we give illumination to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, righteous one. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Today is Thursday, the seventh day of the month of November. The text before us is taken from the book of Daniel, chapter 2 verse 1 through 13. The book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 1 through 13. I read from the New King James Version. Now, in the second year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar's reign, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams, and his spirit was so troubled that he slept left him. Then the king gave the command to call the magicians, the astrologers, the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans to tell the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said to them, I have had a dream, and my spirit is anxious to know the dream. Then the Chaldeans spoke to the king in Aramaic. O king, live forever. Tell your servants the dream, and we will give the interpretation. The king answered and said to the Chaldeans, My decision is firm. If you do not make known the dream to me and its interpretation, you shall be cut in pieces, and your houses shall be made as ash heap. However, if you tell the dream and its interpretation, you shall receive from me gifts, rewards, and great honor. Therefore, tell me the dream and its interpretation. They answered again and said, Let the king tell his servants the dream, and we will give its interpretation. The king answered and said, I know for certain 
that you will gain time. Because you see that my decision is firm. If you do not make known the dream to me, there is only one decree for you. For you have agreed to speak lying and corrupt words before me till the time has changed. Therefore, tell me the dream and I shall know that you can give me its interpretation. The Chaldeans answered the king and said, There is not a man on earth who can tell the king's matter. Therefore, no king, lord, or ruler has ever asked such things of any magician, astrologer, or Chaldean. It is a difficult thing that the king requests, and there is no other who can tell it to the king, except the gods whose dwelling is not with the flesh. For this reason, the king was angry and very furious and gave the command to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. So the decree went out and they began killing the wise men and they sought Daniel and his companion to kill them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for our meditation is the superiority of divinity over humanity. The superiority of divinity over humanity. Let's go back to our daily fountain meditation. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saw himself as supreme monarch and dictator of his time. King Nebuchadnezzar saw himself as a supreme monarch because as at that time, God gave him conquest over all the surrounding nations that was, was available then in his time. So he was a dictator. The lives of his subjects was at his discretion. And his word and command was law. As at that time, whatever he says is final. By the laws of the Persians and the Medians. In fact, the lives of the citizen is at his mercy. If he says, spare. Such lives are spared. But if he says kill, such lives also are terminated at his word. A dictator, a supreme monarch. One day, he had a difficult and perplexing dream that rattled his ego. See, he had a dream, and the dream, the scripture says, rattled his ego because. He was anxious to know it. <laughs> Nevertheless, he forgot it. He had a dream, but by the morning, lo and behold, he couldn't remember a single thing out of it. But he desired to know it. According to the scriptures I read earlier on, he was anxious. So he called the magicians, the astrologers, the wise men of his days, the Chaldeans, come. Shabi, it is said that you people, you know all things. You are wise men. Tell me the dream that I dreamt yesterday night and also give me the interpretation. And he will say, no, we can't do that. Tell us the dream and we'll give you the interpretation. Hmm. Nebuchadnezzar's super intelligence could not unravel his mysterious dream. Neither could his wise men and astrologers and magicians do the same. He therefore sought the assistance of all those who had access to the spirit world by any means to tell his dream and give the interpretation. Brethren, Nebuchadnezzar's incapacitation and frustration to interpret his dream despite his greatness and is re resorting to divination reveals 
human emptiness without God. And that is why the theme of our meditation this morning is the superiority of divinity over humanity. And therefore, I would like to just look at the three words, superiority, divinity, and humanity. When we say something is superior, because out of superior as a word comes superiority. Superior describes the state of being higher in rank, or higher in quality, or higher in standard, or even higher in importance. When you say something is superior, for example, a new chassis vehicle that is purchased today by all standards is superior to an old rickety vehicle. So, when we say something is superior, it means it is of a higher quality. When again we say something is divine, because divinity came from the word divine, it generally refers to a state of being divine, that is divinity, and it is associated with the supernatural. A divine being is someone who is omniscience, that is, is all-knowing. A divine being is omnipotent, that is, all-powerful. A divine being is omnipresence, that is, his presence is everywhere, is ubiquitous. He has a nature that is beyond human comprehension. Humanity, on the other hand, is a quality or a state of being human. By way of comparison, therefore, humanity is characterized with limited knowledge. Humanity is characterized with finite power, finite knowledge, while divinity carries unlimited power. Divinity carries infinite power. Humans have limitations, while the divine do not have limitations of any form. I remember Isaiah 40, 28 says, Have you not known, have you not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he faints not, that is, he does not die, nor is he weary. His understanding is unsearchable. That is God for you. So with God, no knowledge that he does not have. He has infinite knowledge, infinite power, infinite understanding. And that is why we say this morning, superiority of divinity over humanity. The passage that we read shows how despotic Nebuchadnezzar was. Especially the lives of his subjects are nothing before him. These fellows, the wise men who have been serving him dedicatedly these years past, who have been unraveling many things, just because of their failure for one day, he said, their lives should be terminated and their property destroyed. He said, I no longer believe in you since you cannot tell me the dream nor the interpretation. They were not divine. They were only human beings. The scripture told us that the king had a dream that he could not remember. He called the magicians, the children, to make known the dream and at the same time interpret the dream which they couldn't. The magicians, from where we read, confess that they are confess their limitations and their finite power in this regard to the king. But the king refused to accept. They declared the impossibility of interpreting a dream that was not made known to them, nor revealed to them, and at the same time confess that only the divine can give both the dream as well as the interpretation. I deduce this from verse 10 of the chapter that we read, uh, Daniel chapter 2, I will check verse 10. It says, the child has declared, there is not a man upon earth that can show the king the matter, 
Therefore, there is no king, no lord or ruler that asks such things as any magician or astrologer or chardian. What the magicians are saying is that no human can give it except the divine. So this the statement of the chardian shows the limitation and the extent they can go when it comes to spiritual matter. If we also look at the last part of verse 11, the Chaldeans acknowledge the superiority of the divine over humanity. They declared there is none other that can show it before the king except the gods. That is what verse 11c said, except none other that can tell it to the king, except the gods, whose dwelling is not with flesh. They acknowledge divinity over humanity. Brethren, the div divinity or the divine is always superior to humanity. And in this regard, I want to say they were referring to the living God, who is not only divine, but above all. Only divine knows all things, and that could only be attributed to God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Beloved people of God, what is your condition at the moment? That you are thinking God does not see. That is not true. God sees all things. He knows all things. He knows your predicament. And one thing is sure, He can bring you out of it. All you need to do is go to Him in faith. In faith. He sees your condition. And at the same time, he knows the solution to your case. He will send you a Daniel to help you. Nebuchadnezzar cannot remember. Neither can he interpret. But those he trusted to give him the dream as well as interpretation, they also failed him. Because they confess their inability, being human. And they said, only God can give such. That is the dream as well as the interpretation. And that the abode of the divine is not here with the flesh. So if you trust in God Almighty, if you trust in Jesus, the Son of the Most High God, and you call unto him, I assure you, he will arise. He will raise a Daniel. He will solve the problem. He will solve the, the, the condition where you are. And he will give you joy for sorrow. He will give you laughter for sadness. As you trust in him, he shall be well with you in Jesus' name. When you are troubled, people of God, like King Nebuchadnezzar, I want to ask, where do you go? Do you go to Habalis like in, like in Nebuchadnezzar? Do you go to spiritual houses? Do you go to necromancers? All these ones cannot help you. They can't. They can't. The astrologers, the Chaldeans, the magicians failed Nebuchadnezzar. Though, in his defense, we can say, that was the culture in which, which he grew up. And that is why he went to them to look for succor, to look for solution. But here in the modern day, God has given us a better hope, a better solution. And that is only found in Jesus. We need not go to herbalists. We need not go to necromancers. We need not go to spiritual houses. For solution 
All we need to do is go to Jesus, the Son of the Most High God, and He will solve the problem. He will bring you out of that mess, that trouble. He will give you a solution to it. So you need to go to Jesus and not to these people. You need to go to the Most High God rather than moral men who are limited in power, in knowledge, for they cannot save you. The psalmist says in Psalm 121 verse 1, says, I will look upon the hills from whence comes my help. Again, he answers in verse 2, my help comes from the Lord who makes the heavens and the earth. If you go through that eight verses of Psalm 121, you will see God assuring us of his presence and ability to help us out in whatever condition we find ourselves. One thing I know is that examples are bound. How people go to spiritual houses and right there in the spiritual houses, there are problems who are further complicated. Yes, they will take away uh, the pain and they will give you agony. Yes, devil never gives anything for free. He is the one repeated in Yoruba land that he gives you a cap and he collects your head in return. So it's better you don't go to him. Go to Jesus and he'll be there for you. Nebuchadnezzar approached to know the interpretation of dreams through this magician, as I said earlier, may be influenced because of his background. And that's why he seeks divine help. But now we know better. Please go to Jesus and you'll be happy you, you did. We should develop the ability to hear God's voice like Samuel, to know his will in every issue in our lives through the habit of intimacy with God by reading his word and by praying always. We need to do this because Daniel had been going to God before. He knew God and approached him. So God was there for him. But if he has not been doing that before, if there was no intimacy between him and God, definitely he won't be able to do what he did. But he was confident. He said, give us some time. Let us see God. And he approached the divine. And the divine was there to reveal the secret. The divinity of God could also be seen in Psalm 139. If you read verses 1 to 12, he knows all things sees all things about you. He could see the burden in your heart, the groaning in your heart. All you need to do is to come to him. He said, he said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So come to Jesus, and he will be there to help you out. Brethren, Seek Jesus when it is good and when it is not too pleasant. Seek Jesus when it is pleasant and when it is not pleasant. And he will be there whenever you are troubled. Again, we should develop the very important instinct of hearing God's voice to know his will in every issue in our lives to the habit of intimacy with God. That is the good counsel from Daily Fountain this morning. Develop that habit of intimacy with God. Remember, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego already had an intimacy with God. And that's why they were confident and they said, give us a few time, we'll come back to you. Their trust paid off. God revealed the dream, gave the interpretation, and their lives were spared. So, develop that intimacy today by reading the scriptures, by praying regularly, having given your life to Christ. Worship 
in a Bible-believing church, and it shall be well with you. I want to conclude by saying, what your human effort cannot solve, the power of the divine, the power of God, is always available to deal with it. Thank you for your listening attention this morning. And the Lord God will bless you in Jesus' name. The food for thought this morning is, those who seek God will find him when they seek him with all their heart. Those who seek God will find him when they seek him with all their heart. Let us pray. Thank you, righteous one, for your word. Thank you for the breath of life that you have received. We pray, grace to always trust you, grace to depend on you, and grace not to be put to shame. Grant unto us, even as we go about our daily duty, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Wishing you a beautiful day. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.